everyone and welcome back or welcome to another not so very episode we are on episode 10 today and for hitting this milestone in the series we're gonna celebrate in game but i want to just take this moment to introduce or reintroduce myself as well if you're new here hi my name is miss simile but you can call me sim or simile i'm a sims for addict this game is my one and only addiction and on the channel i do storytelling challenges builds basically anything in the sims 4 that i feel up to but now that i've reintroduced myself i just felt like you know it's the 10th episode and it's like what the first episode that i introduced myself it's been a minute so i felt like for anyone new coming in that it would just be a great time to let you guys know who i am but yeah, like I said, we're on the 10th episode and I'm so excited. 10 out of, well, I don't know if we'll get to like 100 episodes or more, but that would be crazy if we did. Either way, I'm very excited that we're hitting double digits now. And today, in this episode, like I said, we're going to be celebrating in-game. And we're going to be celebrating Bethany's and Milo's birthday. Not just the 10th episode, but both of their birthdays. Bethany is going to be an adult and Milo is going to be a toddler. When I was playing, because I played a few days off camera to get to this point, I was redecorating Milo's room. And tell me why I thought he was going to age up from an infant to a child. Because I started going ham on his room, decorating it for a child, all these cute decorations. And then I realized, wait, he's just going to be a toddler. <laughs> What am I doing? So yeah, um, a little sad, but we'll get to that point eventually where he's a child and he'll have a very cute room. So let's get into this birthday party. Everyone's showing up. All of our guests are coming in slowly. We got a birthday cake. We got, what is this? A salad or some kind of strawberry salad. We got fried chicken tenders, I believe. We got Milo on the floor with Grandma, Grandma Cam, so cute. But yeah, everyone's strolling in slowly. Rick's out there, Brooklyn and Angela, they're all gonna come in eventually. Bethany is already digging in because she's hungry. So <laughs> you go eat, girl, you go eat. Why don't you get something to eat as well? And maybe we can call everyone to eat too. Uh, Maybe let's call like, only filter to these people okay maybe let's call like anthony and hmm maybe like your dad you guys can come eat some food all oh, right right i had him like while i was prepping for this birthday party i had bethany talk to miles about her like relationship fears and she conquered it so yay no more fear about uh i think it was being cheated on no, 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 don't clean up. I'll clean up. Don't worry. We can clean up afterwards. Right now, let's focus on birthday partying. So maybe come here and dance. Enjoy yourself, okay? Oh, Grandma's doing tummy time with Milo, but I don't think he's enjoying it. Not like any slightest. Also, he can scoot. Can you like scoot? Watch peekaboo. Who's doing peekaboo with you? Oh, is Anthony trying to do peekaboo with you? Oh, that's so sweet. But yeah, like I said, I played a few days off camera to get to this point. I will give you guys all the updates in a little bit. Just, I want to focus on the birthday party right now. I want to enjoy this moment. Why is Anthony always so tense? Like, always, I feel like. Okay, why don't you... Yeah, babble and smile at Anthony. Maybe you can hit some more milestones while we're here. Oh, Cam's on the dance floor. Brooklyn's on the dance floor. Will and Bethany. What are you doing? You're playing hopscotch? Okay. Angela, you better not be going into my house. Angela, why are you in my house? Also, where's Rick? Okay, Rick's not in my house. Wait, did I pass him by? Oh yeah, he's over here. Oh, he changed. That's why. It is really hot in Santa Boya. And it's fall. That's wild. 
that it's fall and it's so hot out. Uh, Angela, why don't you come over here and like set your booty down? Because I don't want you just roaming my house, okay? This is not the time or any place to be roaming around in my house without my permission, okay? Thank you. Good. Ashish, dancing level 3. Okay, break it down. I see you. Look at that scooting. We got this scoot. <laughs> and dad's picking you up. Dad's got you. But I want you to put him down. Put him down. Okay. Put him down. He's fine. He's chilling. I understand the floor might be very hot because um, it's concrete and we're out in the hot sun. But he'll be fine. Put the bed bed down. Okay. You'll live. Oh my god. What is my sims with clay or the drawing pad? Like, why? Why? Oh, you can interact with Pepper. So cute. Who are you talking to? You're gonna listen to your grandma? Oh. Why don't you come talk to your grandpa as well? So stinking adorable. Some babble to grandpa. I'm really trying to get in any last minute milestones that I can, to be honest. Okay, but you're over here. And you're chatting with Brooklyn. She's bored. Why are you bored, Brooklyn? What's going on, girly? Talk to me. Well, may I help you? Maybe you just need to get on this dance floor. Invite to dance, okay? All the girlies are dancing. Why don't you come and blow out your candles before it gets too dark and the birthday party is like halfway done anyways. And then we will age up Milo, which he's getting hungry. So, did you unlock something? Oh, never mind. Well, I don't know why you were getting all excited for it then. Yeah, he learned to blow raspberries. Oh, so cute. That's it. I really want you to go, uh... She's going to see the milestone. Go ahead. But I really want you to get on this dance floor. Please and thank you. There we go. He's going to be an adult. Oh my goodness. That's crazy to me. Alrighty. Well, why are you sitting? Okay. There we go. Happy birthday. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Happy birthday, Bethany. You got it. There we go. Happy birthday, girl. Oh, look at everyone here. Are you guys celebrating for her? You better be. There we go. That's what I thought. Oh, don't. Oh, I wanted the walls to go up, but my G shade is the same as the walls going up. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me get some screenshots. Happy birthday. I seriously, like, I'm gonna cry when this first gen is like no longer here or when I have to like move on and I, I don't think like I've ever been like so whenever I do challenges like so attached to sims because I'm like yeah I'm doing a challenge I know they're probably gonna die eventually and whatnot but I really like these sims and I really like this family and I feel like I would like cry if anything happens to any of them so Let's come age up Milo. Oh, he was cheering for his mom. Oh, wait, that's so cute. Candles help from mama. Okay, since she's right here already. Where? Uh, no, Bethany. Stop. Put this child down for me, please. And come have him blow his candles. Help blow candles. Where is it? For Milo. Come on now, the sun's setting. Oh, and well, I see you guys. You guys see the back cards decorated. I got the new, uh, that party kit. I can't remember what it's called, if it's just called party kit. But I'm so happy to be finally using our backyard. I wanted to give them a pool, but summer's already gone and we didn't have the money at the time. So. I'm very happy that I'm getting to use this backyard and this kit is stinking cute. Like look at this birthday sign and the balloons and then they have these uh, neon light signs. 
That is so adorable. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. I need to get pictures. Chill, guys, chill. Oh, it's so fast. And everyone's eating food. I'm glad that they're enjoying it because I took my precious time to make all of it. So, yay. Oh, that's staying. Let's go. Oh, all the spit. All of the spit. <laughs> the world of spit. <laughs> he was putting on that cake. Y'all still want cake? I know Bethany and Miles will still eat it, but the rest of y'all. You guys still want cake? <laughs> all the spit on it. Oh, everyone's celebrating. I love this. I... I love family gameplay so much. <laughs> And I hate when I have to do legacies and my sims have to die. Is there a legacy challenge where like your sims can never die? Maybe they, we, I should get the vampires pack because I don't have it. I hate vampires and I hate seeing them in other people's game just show up in restaurants and break the immersion for me. Uh, so I don't have it. But maybe I should do like a vampire legacy where they'll never die because I don't want these sims to die. Okay, let's see what trait he will get. <gasps> Inquisitive. Okay. I feel like he's taking after his mama there a little bit. But everyone's gonna send us gifts in the mail. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's very hungry. Okay, why don't you come take a piece? And Bethany, why don't you call everyone else to the meal? Everyone come eat. Is everyone selected? Come here, Miles. Okay, there you go. You guys, come on. Come eat. I have to give him a makeover. Most definitely. But I worry about that in a little bit. Just not right now. You want to be friendly with your dad. Oh, and he got a quick wander. Okay. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on you. Maybe I should get like some kind of fencing. Like, I put his play area in a little fenced-off place because I don't want him just wandering off into the street. It's dangerous, kiddo. It's dangerous. Don't do that. Oh, everyone ate the cake? Oh, no. Someone needs to drop their cake. Grandma, I'm sorry. Sacrifice your cake for your grandbaby. He at least needs to get cake, okay? Oh, okay. Dad, you could have finished eating that, but... Yeah. Come eat your birthday cake. The birthday boy needs to eat his cake, alright? I'm sorry. Mom, do you want to sacrifice your cake? Actually, he dropped this, so I'm gonna have him eat that. <laughs> alright, I'm so sorry, but he needs to he needs to have his cake. Also, he's hungry, so I want him to eat something. Yeah, he's hungry, he's tired, he needs to go to the party, so everyone eat your cake and then we're wrapping up this birthday party because I need to help out my kiddo. Which, let me just show you guys. Oh, you're gonna babble to Auntie Brooklyn. So cute. Let me just show you guys upstairs a little bit. So, I gave him some toys. Because we had quite a bit of money. So, I gave him this dollhouse. It was red. It's very cute. And I haven't used it before. So, I'm very excited to use it now. And then, while well, his room is gonna stay the same. I just need to get him a taller bed. I don't know if I could convert this one or not. If I can, then I will. But if I can, then I'll just get him a new one. And we'll see what gifts he get in the meal. But he has some toys in his inventory already. You want to be friendly with your dad? Oh. Okay, maybe y'all can start with a... Uh... Oh, she's cleaning up. Okay, okay. Let her clean up. Let her clean up. Why don't you go use the bathroom? So that maybe you can help milo out with his needs when we are ready to let's turn this music off thank you everyone for coming i appreciate you guys uh but let me put this in here and let's start tidying up i'm just gonna get them organized for the next day so i'll just see you guys then because i'm just gonna be cleaning up nothing crazy that you guys are missing out on all right so it is the next morning miles is the first one to be awake he's just taking care of some things around the house and his needs before he goes off to work today yeah he has work 9 a.m so uh 
He's just getting himself ready. Everyone else is asleep. Bethany's still sleeping. Milo's sleeping still, which I ended up having to change his bed. The other one couldn't upgrade, so yeah, that's his new bed. And well, he has a bunch of toys. <laughs> a bunch. Oh, Bethany's awake. Wait, did the cat wake you up? I feel like Sol tweet. Yep. Sol, come on. You can't be doing this. You need to learn not to wake people up, okay? And then Bethany's gonna go back to bed. Because she doesn't have work until 10 a.m. But we do have to get some more breakthroughs. So, um, maybe I should have her work on that instead. Uh, why don't you come up here and experiment? So yeah, since everyone's awake... Well, not everyone, everyone. No! I hate that you, like, lose relationship from doing that. But at the same time... Cat doesn't listen. <laughs> Salt does not listen. Okay. But yeah, I'm getting a little sidetracked. While she does this, let me update you guys on some things that I did off camera. So, first, I want to show you guys that we only need one more element to complete the elements collection. The one that I found was Bumpus, and the last one that we're missing is Furium. I know which crystals and metals we need to find to possibly get Furium, so I'm hoping that they're not too hard to find and that we'll get them pretty soon. The next thing is we have like 6k. I was gonna say we have like a lot of money, but mm, uh, I mean 6k is a good amount of money, but I wouldn't say it's like that much. Oh no, this broke. Okay, I know you like really want to play video games, but can you fix this please? And salt. I better not see you scratching anything. Beg to stop scratching, please. What did you scratch? Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, that child's still asleep. Good. <laughs> oh, Gemology level 7. Oh my god, Bethany. Okay, pop off. Do you? Still surroundings. All right, Miss Materialistic. We'll fix that later. Oh, don't eat the birthday cake. I left that for Milo. Sorry, I get so distracted when my sims are doing things. This is why I usually pause and talk. But um, I also just don't want to stop and waste time talking too much when we could do things. Also, very sorry if you can hear all the dogs barking in the background. Like, the entire street of dogs are barking right now. So, very sorry about that. <laughs> But we shall push on. So yeah, what was I saying? Uh, I told you guys about the elements collection. Alright, that we have a good amount of money. And that is because we paid off all our debts. And all the money that we're getting now is not going to the bank to pay off any more debts. All of this will be our own money. And we could start saving up for Milo's future. Which I'm so excited about. Like... Everyone's growing up so fast. Like, when is his birthday? His birthday is going to be next week Wednesday. Which I'm most likely going to play most of these days off camera. So when you guys see him next, he'll be like a whole child. Which is crazy to me. But it is what it is. Speaking of future, Miles over here, he wants to have a child. And I'm not opposed to it, to be honest. He can... It could try for a baby. I honestly don't mind. My only concern is like where to put this child. Yes, it will most likely be this room, but where would we put all of Bethany's things? Stand alone. Stand alone. Bethany, you'll take care of your laundry, don't worry. Yeah, um, we can do some expanding. I'm thinking maybe like this hallway, just expand it out completely. And then we can put the computer out in the hallway. I feel like after we max out her scientist career, we really won't need this. Honestly, we don't even need it. I just think it would be cool to keep some of her stuff around. And we can put it like outside or somewhere that it's not too much in the way. Like we, we can do a lot. So I'm thinking maybe later today they can try for a baby or is it too soon? I don't know. Uh, no, you go on ahead without me, Rick. Sorry. Oh yeah, I was thinking maybe later today since, uh, he wants to, they can try for a baby, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Come harvest everything. Thank you. Not our sink breaking now. 
when Rick, not Rick, when Miles comes home, he can take care of that. Milo has been sleeping this entire time, which he got another quirk. He hits bedtime. So it took a minute to get him in bed, but he's sleeping and I'm going to let him sleep. Everyone's going to go off to work and things will be fine. The child will stay asleep for the entire time. Uh, come harvest these as well. Some chrysanthemums and... Yeah, we'll deal with laundry and stuff really. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it right now, to be very honest. I mean, can she squeeze it in real quick? Maybe, possibly. We'll see. But yeah, other than that, um, Bethany is level 7 of the scientist career. Yeah, she is. Mail has been delivered. Okay, we'll take that later because, yeah, she needs to go to work. And I'm just going to send her alone. I I know we need to get some more crystals and metals to find this last element. But at the same time, I really want her to get these promotions. I think we should focus on promoting her. That last element, we could come towards it later. But right now, I think this is more important. Since we have money, I'm just going to replace that and mop this up really quick. And get the meal. I know I'm sending you into work late and you will definitely not get a promotion this way, so uh hurry up. <laughs> yeah, you can chat with him. That's fine. Go get the meal and go go to work. And this baby is a wig. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to potty train you this morning. Which I really want to potty train him so you can go on his own, but he'll be okay. He'll be okay. Right bye, Bethany. Go work hard for me, okay? Work very hard. You too, Miles, work hard. Because I think they can both get promoted. Maybe not Bethany. She went to work really late. And she's only average, so yeah. But Miles could definitely get promoted. Thank you, Cam. I appreciate you. Oh my god, it's also 30 now. Okay. Well, while they're at work, I don't have anything to distract me. So I can continue giving you guys updates. <laughs> Great. Um as you guys saw, she leveled up her gemology skill to level 7, which I didn't realize this thing would have you level up your gemology skill. That's really interesting and cool. So if you didn't know, your sim can use, uh, what is this thing? The analyzer or something or the serum maker, whatever you want to call it. They can use this to experiment and you'll get your gemology skill up, which is very, very interesting. But my idea because of her leveling up her gemology skill is that maybe i could have her make jewelry or gems for milo later on and, and let me know you guys thoughts on this in the comments below but i'm thinking she makes like jewelry or crystals that can help milo with charisma or maybe with his relationships because i think for gen 2 He's going to be in and out of a lot of relationships. So I'm thinking maybe we can get some crystals or jewelry made from Bethany to give to Milo to help with that. Because there is a crystal that helps with your romance life. I think there's two actually. One that helps you get over breakups faster. I think another one may help you uh, with romantic interactions. And... I don't know, I'm thinking maybe we can use the new gemology or crystal creations pack in Tanato Berry. I don't know if this might seem cheaty to you guys. I mean, it's in the game, so I don't consider it cheaty, but let me know you guys' thoughts. Like, if I should do that, if I shouldn't, if we should struggle and not have the jewelry. Because I'm thinking even if she does make that and give it to him, we can still give it to him as a gift. We don't necessarily have to charge it and use the uh, what you might call it the benefits from it when it's charged i just thought since her gemology skill is so high up there that we might as well make use of it and we don't really have anything else to do with bethany other than have her get promotions and that last element so yeah i'm thinking i get her a gemology table maybe sell this and swap it out make that for milo and uh we can give him a little gift when it's his teen birthday or something because he wouldn't need that until he's a teenager so that's just my thoughts let me know you guys thoughts as well on that 
why is everyone calling us <laughs> i'm like yeah my sims are gone i have a moment to not be distracted and just focus on giving you guys updates no everyone's calling and texting us <laughs> jeez also i feel bad for milo because his parents are at work until like 7 and 9 p.m he's at daycare all day long i mean granted miles could take like a day off from work because i have to choose when he goes to work but at the same time when he does it's like milo's gonna be at daycare for the entire day so i think tomorrow i'll have miles take the day off and spend the day with milo because i feel bad i feel bad that he's gonna be just at daycare all the time if we decide to send both of them to work and Bethany is making pretty good money. Shoot it. Okay. Bethany is making pretty good money right now. I mean, I think she's making like a thousand simoleons every time she goes. So, I think, yeah, we just send her to work and we have Miles work some days on and off. That way, you know, we spend some time with Milo. I don't want to not spend time with him. I mean, do we really care about the toddler? phase or age mm, not really but i'll feel bad if i don't spend time with kiddo so yeah i'll do that and now i'm just rambling so i'm sorry i'm gonna wait for them to get home and then we'll go from there if nothing exciting happens when they're home then i'll just see you guys in the morning again i know I all right it's the next morning and today is actually a holiday that i put in called kick back and relax i didn't realize i had this holiday in and it's basically a day for your sims to literally just relax which is actually perfect because everyone is going through mental fog and creative fog bethany just collected the mail no okay i was really hoping that this would be the element that we needed but it is not but we did get some toys for milo and i guess bethany got a future cube cool i'm actually tempted to still like send her to work just because i really want her to get her performance up we don't need two duckies i'm gonna sell one sorry yeah i'm thinking maybe i should send it to work because i had her up all night trying to get rid of this fog so that she can go to work and i didn't do it just for her not to i'm still a little concerned though because this did not go up when she went to work yesterday so i don't know maybe i should just have her stay home mm, i mean mm, i'm just gonna send her we'll see what happens okay if anything i could just bring her back it'll be fine wait wouldn't she lose performance i think she probably would i'm still gonna send her though miles on the other hand oh my god everyone's like sleeping no 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 more sleeping oh my god how does that i mean maybe mm. sure i'll say yes come after 5 p.m oh my god okay we'll see we'll see i need you to wake up and i need you to wake up too is he one in his diaper and he's really really hungry so let me get you some food and then maybe dad could give you a bath after with kids like stuffed peppers here there's only one salad left so come eat that you got a whole hour before it spoils so eat that for me please who is texting you now no not today brooklyn no i'm not answering that unknown caller goodbye <laughs> goodbye okay cheese so many people just calling us today I want Miles and Milo to have like a little father son day. It is sunny. It's a little cloudy, but I said it was sunny. I meant to say it was hot out, but it's cloudy. It's it's not raining or anything. So I think we should use this opportunity for them to go outside and maybe play on the tent or something together. You can get a bat later, okay? You'll be fine. Oh, now you're putting it up there. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do? You want to be friendly with your dad again? You really like your dad. Oh, and while we're here, this is what Milo looks like. His little 
makeover that I gave him. I kept the same hair that he aged up with. It's it's a little Justin Bieber haircut. And it looks cute on him. Also, he looks so much like his dad. From like the bushy eyebrows to the hair. He looks a lot like his dad. I'm waiting to see if it'll stay like that when he gets older. But as of right now, he looks an awful lot like his dad. Um, but yeah, I want you to come get Milo. What am I doing? Come pick him up and let's take him outside. We could probably play on the slide or something. I do want to potty train him, but it can wait. It can wait. Oh, we can play. And he's inquisitive, so he might want to learn how to talk. Either way, I just want him outside. So let's come. How do I pick you up, child? I definitely know what I'm doing. Um, hello? How do I pick you up? I get to just say please and thank you or sorry. Pick up. Here we go. That's what I wanted. Come pick him up. And let's bring him outside. We can play on his slide. We can play in the tent. Oh, you can't play with him on the tent? Oh. I wish it was like a... What do you call that? The... Oh my god. The jungle gym? I think it's what it's called. I wish the tent was kind of like that where the parents could come. You can't get him. Okay, well then I'm just gonna teleport you both outside then. I don't care. Both of you, come out here. If you hear my stomach grumbling, absolutely didn't. <laughs> uh, here, let's change you into one of your hot water wears. But yeah, I wish it was like the jungle gym where you can play with them in the tent. Because I think that would be so cute. I think that would be the most adorable thing if you could. But I guess we can. So come help him climb. He's energized anyways. He's already movement level 2. Which, good job buddy. I'm proud of you. So yeah, come help him slide down. Oh my goodness. I need to capture this moment. <gasps> you got this. Oh my god, he's still clapping. He's so cute. You got this buddy. <laughs> oh my god. Look at Miles being such a good dad. You got this! <laughs> oh, that's so adorable! He's like, yeah, my dad's got me. And me, I'm just crushing this thing, you know? I just became a toddler yesterday, and I already know how to climb up and down stairs. <laughs> good job! Oh my god, so cute! And since you want to be friendly with your dad, let's have you do that. And then maybe we can teach him how to talk. Um, you can show him toys. Let's babble to him. No, no more slide. No more slide. Okay, I thought he was going to put him on his slide again. Come babble to him. And then, um, where are you going? Not you wandering about. <laughs> this child. He is literally a wanderer. All right. Um, enroll in preschool. I can do that. Maybe I should do that. Because that way he'll learn. At least. So maybe I'll enroll him in preschool. I mean, I can always just send him when I want to send him. So yeah. Uh, let me come teach you how to talk. Let's do flashcards. Because he's inquisitive. So let's... Oh, wait. Never mind. It should basically need to send him. The great... The option to totally learn how to talk was straight out um hello are you gonna teach him or no can you teach me how to do things dad please thank you i would appreciate it yeah i want to learn i think like miles not miles milo oh my god i'm gonna mix up their names so many times I think Milo, like, has his mom's, like, personality so far, like, she's literally a whole scientist, and her kids, her kid is inquisitive, yeah, I think you're kind of taking after her in that department, but he looks so much like his dad, like, so much, look at that little bean, and look at this, so much, uh, maybe... Hey, I could see him having his mom's nose. Or am I wrong? I think maybe he has his mom's nose. 
I'm not too sure yet. Well, we'll see when he gets older. But I feel like right now, he looks so much like his dad. Like, so much. You got this, buddy. You're learning. You're learning. You got this. And then, yeah, we'll give you a bath later before mommy comes home. Oh my god, that is going up so quickly. Is it because he's inquisitive or... Because we're teaching him. Yes. Oh, why did it... Okay. Oh, he's potty level 2. Good job, buddy. Look, he's going to need to potty anyways, so it's a good thing I'm putting him on it. Oh, you need attention. Oh my god, both of you need attention and playtime. Oh! Hello? I'm sorry, that was so loud in everyone's ears, but what just happened to Pepper? Are you good, Pepper? Oh my goodness. Okay, um, that was interesting. And uh, that's gonna haunt my dreams tonight. Lovely. Love, love that I had to see that. Cool. Um, can we just come give Milo a bubble bath? Or should I just give him a quick bath? Let's just give him a quick bath because he's getting late. Please? No. Why? He agreed to the bath and you want to give them a strict family dynamic? Why? That needs to be like tuned, I feel, because he agreed. What's the problem? He wants his bubble bath. Look at him. He's enjoying it. How can you tell me this is strict? This is nowhere near strict. This is just utmost cuteness. He's been nothing but a good baby. Oh my god, the ducky. It's like the ducky that he got for his birthday. That's the one that he's using. Oh my god, that's so cute. That is so sick and adorable. But, um, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to be like up in your face like that, kiddo. <laughs> I think this is just a good point to end the episode because I don't know what's going on with my game anymore. I wanted to do more things. I wanted to try for a baby and whatnot, which I'll still have them do. I'll just probably do it off camera because. Yeah, my game right now was just not not having the best of times. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I really don't know. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like. Comment down below what you think. Also, again, give me your feedback on the whole idea of Bethany making gems or jewelry for Milo to use later on. Only... Okay, let me just like clarify this one more time. I know I rambled about it before. But I'm just going to have her make like one or two to help him with his romance life not really with his skills i'm thinking you know it's a challenge it's supposed to be a challenge i don't want to make it like too easy on myself i'm just thinking it would be a nice gift to gift to milo when he gets older and the bonus is it could help him with his romance life so let me know your thoughts on that but leave a comment down below on what you thought of this episode. Otherwise, again, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe because there will be more. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye.